An experimental fish farm on northern Vancouver Island is trying to recover from a major setback, a fish escape that it says is larger than originally thought. Nearly 3,000 Chinooks swam for freedom when a massive windstorm battered the region in the middle of last month. As CTV's Gord Kerbis reports, the setback once again is shining a spotlight on the aquaculture industry. It's a project that started with high hopes, a closed containment fish tank north of Campbell River where thousands of Chinook salmon were being raised. On March 12th, the experimental farm suffered a setback when it was damaged by storms. There was structural damage. Uh, we are uh, bringing the tank up to, in essence, uh, dry dock it for analysis. After the storm, AgriMarine posted a notice on its website talking about the damages and how it prompted the early harvest of the fish stock. At the time, it said it appeared there was no loss of inventory. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans since confirmed that more than 2,700 Chinook escaped that day. It's absolutely, it's a, it's a disappointment that there were escapes from this facility. But the, the other part of it is that it's a relatively new technology and a whole lot of other things went well. Some industry watchers were today talking about how the company these stocks have reacted to the setback. But despite that, proponents like the Georgia Strait Alliance still have faith that closed containment is the way to go. There was just a successful harvest of fish from a closed containment facility on the East Coast that the Freshwater Institute has been working on. There are several projects in the Lower Mainland that are in the process of being created and built. This is the technology of the future. While AgriMarine is not a member of the BC Salmon Farmers Association, the group sympathizes with its problems and is pleased that open net farms weathered the March storm. Our sites were all professionally engineered and, and luckily uh, we didn't have any escapes throughout that very extreme storm event so I think it's quite safe to say that you know the technologies are, are there and the worker uh, experience is there. The association's executive director says AgriMarine's project is still too early in its experiment to come to any conclusions just yet. I think there are still a lot of questions about the technology generally in terms of the densities, in terms of the feed conversion ratios, the fish that ended up being taken out of that system I think or lower than half the usual um, harvest weight. So I'm not sure if it, it was a true assessment. The company indicates it's still working on the repairs and should have new tanks in position on local waters sometime in June or July. Gord Curvis, CTV News, Campbell River.